Hello, my name is Tara Rocha. I'm a digital learning specialist at Bridging Apps, a program of Easter Seals. Our motto is to bridge the gap between technology and people with disabilities. Come join us for Tech 2. There are several ways to set limits for someone working on apps on an iPad or iPhone. This video covers one of those ways. Did you know that you can use the simple built-in clock function to limit the time your child spends working or playing in an app? It's easy, and we're going to show you how. First thing you have to do is set up a password for your device. So let's go into the Settings app, which is a great app with a cogwheel inside of it. The next thing you are going to look for on the left-hand navigation panel, you are going to find the word passcode. You will tap on the word passcode next to the red icon. If you don't already have a passcode set up on your device, you'll be prompted to create one. You'll then be asked to confirm if you want to set that passcode or create a new one. You'll say use that code and you'll lastly be asked to verify that code by typing it again. Probably the greatest thing about this trick is there's no need to download a certain app to do this. You're just going to use the clock app that's built in on your device. Depending on your operating system, you will see four or five icons. World clock, alarm, bedtime, stopwatch, and timer. Make sure that timer is selected and is in orange. You're then going to set the timer for the amount that you want. So we'll start with 20 minutes. And this is kind of the hidden secret that's almost magical. You are going to set the sound um, for when the timer goes off. So towards the bottom of your screen, there's a box that says when timer ends. You might have the word radar there selected. That is the name of the default sound. So if you have not set your alarms to another sound, radar will be the one that shows up. We're going to set an alarm so that your iPad or your iPhone goes to sleep after a certain amount of time. So we're going to tap on the sound that is currently selected. So I'll tap on radar. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says stop playing. And I will choose stop playing. The last couple things to do is to press set and then start, which sometimes is easy to forget. So I'm going to hit start and I will see my time starts ticking down. And if you're not familiar with the timer app already, one of the great things about it is it is a nice vis visual display as well. So you see the red um, circle as it's slowly running out of time. So your children that are not good at reading numbers and clocks, they can see the time ticking down. So then you can get out of the clock app and go into any other app on the device and use the device freely. If you ever want to go back into the clock app, you can see how much time is left. When you run out of time, the iPad will automatically go to a lock screen. And the only way you can get out of it is by entering the passcode. Now that you can somewhat control how long people can be on your device, you can use it in various ways. Whether you are a teacher of a one iPad classroom and have your students working through the iPad in stations or as a parent, you want to give a certain amount of screen time as a reward, using the built-in timer is a great way to limit screen time. We know the importance of limiting screen time and sometimes we know that giving your child a certain amount of time to play freely is exactly what they want. If you're looking for a way to give, keep someone in a particular app, you'll want to check out our Tech 2 on Guided Access. We're glad you joined us for this edition of Tech 2 and we look forward to seeing you next time.